Hello people of the internet. In today's video, we will be checking out the Tick Watch E. This is the box. Let's check it out. This is the Tickwatch E. It comes in three different colors. This is shadow. It also comes in a lime green and an ice. The ice is white. And taking a look at it, it has built-in GPS. It has a heart rate monitor on the back right here. It has Google Assistant built-in. It has IP67 water resistance. It is lightweight with the package with the band, the band and the watch totaling up to 41.5 grams. It is powered by Wear OS by Android and also works on Apple devices as well. And it's compatible with iOS 8.0 plus and Android 4.3 plus. Uh, you can download your own apps. You can even play your, uh, you can even play games on here as well. It's touchscreen of course. There is one button on the side right here that you can touch. It has a 1.4 inch OLED display and, it, and the screen resolution is 400 by 400. It has Bluetooth version 4.1 and it does have Wi-Fi. It has text message capabilities. You can either you can either type the text, you can either type the text on here or you can use emojis or you can or you can just speak the text because it does have a microphone and on that note it has a microphone and speaker on it the battery life is 300 milliamps and it lasts for 48 hours plus depending on usage and talking about usage more on that later the strap is made from silicone sweat resistant as, as well the, gl the glass for the screen is anti-scratch glass Okay, so the different ways you can you have to navigate this is there is a button on the left side and if you press that button you get into the menu tab where you can find all the different applications that you have. It has the find my phone feature which if I put my phone right over here it says about to ring phone. It's ringing and there you go. My phone's ringing now. And once I turn it on, it stops. So that's really cool. If you know your watch is and you're trying to find your phone, boom, there you go. If you swipe to the right, you get your Google Assistant right here. And it says the date and the time on the top. On here, you have some basic commands. And it even gives you a quote of the day. If you swipe to the left, you get a series of different pages or tabs. The first one is your health page. It tells you the steps, the calories you burned, and how far you've gone. Also, also on that page, you can start an activity using that button. You can start an activity using this button right here. And there's different activities and everything that you can choose from. Oh yeah, and hitting this button on the left, uh, takes you back to the home screen and swiping takes you to your recent thing. If you swipe up here, if you swipe to the uh, left again, you get to your weather tab, which it tells you the average weather and three, tells you the average weather right here and it tells you three uh, different hours on the, uh, below that and if you click weather.com it will bring you to a four day fa uh, forecast as well if you go back to the to the weather app you swipe to the left again the next thing you have here is a calendar it is empty because I don't have the events for today but if I did they would be right there if I swipe again, 
uh, headlines would be right here. If there was a way to get the headlines, they would be popping up here. And then here is the heart rate button, which the heart rate sensor is on the back right here. And we'll get to this more later. So if you go back here, you swipe down, you get your settings, you get your mute and airplane mode, uh, flashlight and all that. And then you hit here, that's your full in depth, in depth settings and everything. So pretty cool. I've been using this basically every day for the past couple of weeks, months. And normally what I'll do is I'll charge it overnight. But normally it would last for two days. And there is uh, different settings you can do to make the screen turn off. And the way to turn it on is to press the button or to do like the rise to wake. But I have it to, um, yeah, it's an always on display and it times out after every so often. And it, you're welcome with this black screen right here. And then once you touch it, the colors come back on. Uh, the one last thing I'll show you before before I go is actually on the back. These right here is actually the charging port, and the charging port, the charging cord that comes with it is right here. You got your normal USB, and then it's right here. This is magnetized, so once you go to charge it, it just goes. You're good to go. Boom. And just like that, it's charging. That's going to wrap it up in today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.